We've reached the Director of the Year Award, and this year's Hollywood Director of the Year is Catherine Bigelow. And here to help honor her, would you please welcome one of the stars and one of the most talked of one of the most talked about movies of the year, The Hurt Locker, actor Anthony Mack. Excuse me, Mackie. Anthony, I screwed up. No, baby, you look good. Thank you. No, it's good to see you, girl. Ativo Cougar Town, girl, I see you. Looking all good. Y'all got to acknowledge that. Oh, thick shit. <laughs> Look, I'm, Lee might be from Harlem. I'm from New Orleans. Shit, girl. <laughs> know that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> Catherine Bigelow recently directed me in um, The Hurt Locker, a film that's receiving much acclaim. Everyone seems to love it. Uh, it also starred Brian Garrity and Jeremy Renner. Jeremy. You can call Shalice and tell her about the soup. Tell her about the heat, you leave out chocolate rain. Hmm? So when you see him, ask him about chocolate rain. All right, nut bag or whatever, nut ass or whatever. Uh, <laughs> the film is a portrait of, of the Army's elite explosive ordnance disposal squad battling insurgents in Iraq. Throughout a highly regarded career spanning more than 25 years, even though she looked like she's young enough to be my high school girlfriend, <laughs> Catherine has given us some amazing films that range between edgy and art house fair, such films as The Loveless, Near Dark, The Weight of Water, and the big Hollywood productions like Point Break, Strange Days, and a <laughs> guy, <laughs> and uh, K-19 Widowmaker. It's my pleasure to present a woman that took a group of guys to the Middle East and told a story of triumph, intrigue, and tech, integrity, took a bunch of actors, a bunch of boys, and made us men in a world that we knew nothing about. It's my, it's my privilege to introduce to you the Hollywood director, Catherine Bigelow. Uh, hold it. <laughs> Come back to follow. No, I'll stand back here. No, 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 you want me to hold your hand? Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll rub you back. Good job. Go, go, go. You're, fine. You're fine. I'm right here. I'm right. In my heart, I know I'm as funny as Nora Look. Ephron, but That's on your back. probably right. not in reality. Um, Thank the actors. Thank the actors. <laughs> Anthony is incredible. I did have one of the most incredible actors to work with, all three of them. Anthony, Jeremy Renner, Brian Garrity, not to mention Guy Pierce. What is he doing? I'm, I'm, I'm just standing <laughs> here. I'm, I'm support. This is what it was like to shoot with these guys, let me tell you. Um, Ray Fiennes and David Morris and Evangeline Lilly. Anyway, it was an incredible, incredible odyssey. First of all, I just want to, I have to get serious for a second. <laughs> I want to thank um, the organizers of this film, <laughs> of this uh, film festival for this incredible honor and also Rob Friedman from Summit Entertainment because without his purchase of our film at Toronto about a year ago, we would not be here, so I'm incredibly grateful to all of them. This has been quite a journey, and um, we actually, uh, we had not really the kind of money that we had hoped to raise for them, but what we had was a great, great, great script, written by Mark Bowl, who risked his life for the words on the page um, because of his time in Baghdad. And from that script, we were able to attract, you know, I mean, Doing maybe, <laughs> able to attract an incredible cast, as I mentioned earlier, and also a really, really, really uh, phenomenal crew in Barry Aykroyd, Callie Ju Juliuson, Bob Morosky, Chris Innes, and able to also engender the uh, hospitality of the country of Jordan. And that was um, incredibly critical to making this movie that we did in the Middle East in the summer and um, Jeremy wore a hundred, about an 85 pound bomb suit uh, day in, day out, and all of them there um, through heat, through sandstorms, through some, you know, uh, spontaneous adversity, um, their talent and their commitment was unwavering. And um, finally, I just want to say that I'm very proud to be part of a community that uh, supports films like this and allows 
a filmmaker such as myself to make something that hopefully reminds all of us that there are men and women uh, still to this day, six years on, this uh, conflict continues, that are in harm's way, and, um, and hopefully we won't forget them. And so thank you very, very, very much.